Hey everyone, how are you? And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Today's video is going to be my Q&A. I told you guys in my update video that I was going to film a Q&A for you because I get a lot of questions daily on my channel, so I wanted to just kind of compile, compile, compile them all into one video. So today I will be answering all the questions that you sent in both on Instagram and on YouTube. I didn't get any questions through Twitter or Snapchat, so I might do another Q&A specifically for those two platforms. But I did get a lot of questions, so we're just gonna get right into it. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my social medias. It's KCB23 for everything. You can find me pretty easily, so go ahead and do that. And without Without further ado, let's get right into this video. By the way, my hair, just kind of excuse it, I mean I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. My hair likes to poof out whenever I have it in braids, this is what happens. So I had it in like a side braid and then I just felt like I should run with it and that's what I did. I have all of the questions that you sent here on my phone so I will be taking the questions directly from my phone and I'll put up who actually asked the question right here so you guys can get a little shout out. First question, what camera do you use for filming? I currently use the Canon Rebel T3i with a 18 to 55 milliliter lens. It was like a kit that I got three years ago, maybe even four. Gosh, it's been forever since I got this, but it's been a while since I've had this. They are now on the T6i, I think. Um, so that's what I use. It works. I do want to upgrade my camera though and that probably will happen this year because this camera is pretty decently old. It's like three or four years old already and I really want to get a camera that has autofocus. This one does not have autofocus, but it does the job. It says, any advice on new YouTubers or for you new YouTubers? I know I got a couple questions about this particular thing. Just if you are a new YouTuber, if you are trying to start a channel, the best advice that I can give you is just to be yourself and be consistent. I know I'm pretty sure that's what, like everyone's generic answer and it's not me trying to be generic. That's really all it is. I have been on YouTube for about three, almost four years I think, maybe it's three years. It's been a long journey for me and I still don't have the largest channel so I am still learning myself. But the biggest thing that I'm noticing is when I am consistent, my channel grows more than when I disappear for weeks at a time. And obviously consistency is key. I will not put a video up if I am not completely on board with it. There are times where I'm like so-so and I just put it up because I want you guys to know about that particular product. But for the most part, I like to put up videos that I am proud of. And I feel like that shows through my videos. If I really love a product, if I really am enjoying myself in a video, you guys will see that. If people love your videos, they will share it and just help your channel grow more. But don't be discouraged if it takes forever for your channel to grow. It does take a while for some people. Some people it's like overnight success, but just be yourself and stay consistent and don't get discouraged. If you feel like you're being discouraged at all, feel free to talk to me. You can tweet me send me a snap on snapchat you can even comment down below and i'll try my best to respond to you guys because i am here for you and if you have any questions or if you're feeling discouraged about youtube or anything like that definitely go ahead and let me know and i will help you in the best way that i can is chanel a good brand or not in your opinion I don't know. I don't think I own anything Chanel. Um, if you're talking makeup wise, I really don't know. I don't have anything Chanel wise. I know it's very pricey. Is it worth it? I'm not entirely sure because I've never used it. As far as like perfume and stuff, again, I've never smelled anything Chanel or I've never had like a Chanel handbag or anything like that. So I couldn't really tell you because I don't know anything of the brand. This is a three part question from Christina. I'm gonna say her name because she said she loved my hair. Um, this is, let's see, the first question is, why did you have gum surgery? I told you guys I did have gum surgery a while back, twice. I had one on one side and one on the other. I have a long history of dental issues, like I have always been at the dentist. I spend more time at the dentist than at the doctors, which is horrible. Just my entire life has been that way. Both my mom and grandfather have like deep gum pockets and I started to develop the deep gum pockets. So what the surgery does is just kind of deep clean all of that. And then in the areas that I had dental work, like caps, I have some caps back here. 
um, it really was apparent that the gum sockets were deep there so the dentist just went in and kind of fixed those areas I actually will be going back to get another surgery done and it's just a revision to the first surgery I have some dental work in the front this front tooth um, and I've had some irritation with my gums and he just doesn't like the way that it came out so I have to go back so I don't know what's gonna happen with that I probably won't be on camera for a while since it's right in front you can see it when the gums are really like inflamed and dark they turn dark after so I probably won't film during that time maybe I'll have some stuff off camera or pre-record or something but I will be getting that done again sorry that was a very long explanation for the gum surgery I apologize uh, the next thing is how old am I I actually get that question a lot I am 25 a lot of people think I'm younger I am not I'm 25 I'll actually be 26 this year and I'm turning into one of those people that are like oblivious to what teens talk about. I am so old and I know I'm not old but I feel old in my soul. <laughs> like I think I've always had a like an old soul and it's making itself very apparent lately. Um, let's see, what is your ethnicity? I get that question a lot as well. I am Hispanic. I am half Dominican and half Puerto Rican. What is one makeup brand that you would love to do a collaboration with? You guys, you guys already know this. Uh, Colourpop. I would love to just have a collaboration with ColourPop. If I ever collaborated with a brand, that would be my goal. That would be my brand. Which to be honest, I don't even know what product I would collaborate with them on because they come out with so many different colors and so many products. So maybe by the time I get big enough, if they want to collaborate with me, there'll be a product that'll be like up my alley, like perfect. But that would be my gym collaboration. You guys should know that. I love ColourPop. Can you discuss military life? They said that they are also a military spouse and everyone has different experiences. This is true. I am an army spouse. I am an army wife, military spouse. I don't know if you guys know that because I don't like to talk about my marriage or my personal life too much on camera. Like I'll talk about myself, but when it includes other people like my spouse or my family, I don't really talk about that stuff on camera for my own reasons. Um, my husband has yet to make an appearance on my channel. Uh, we're working on it. He agreed at some point in the future to make an appearance on my channel, but until then, it's probably not going to happen for a while. Not everyone in my life is comfortable with being on camera and being on YouTube. Currently, though, we are getting ready to transition out of the army. He has been in the army for seven years. I've been a military spouse for six years, but I've been together with my husband, a boyfriend at the time for this entire time. I knew him before he even joined the military. We started dating when he was in basic training and stuff like that. So we have been military our entire relationship. So it's going to be a transition. Our time in the army has had its ups and downs. We have had the very, very rare in my opinion, rare circumstance where I have never had to deal with a deployment. So I don't relates to other military spouses in that sense. I have dealt with trainings, I've dealt with him going off for a couple months at a time to different schools and stuff, but as far as a deployment, I have not had to deal with that. We have been very thankful to not have to deal with that, so that's something that I never had to deal with and I can't really relate to, but everything else, it is hard. It, it's hard, you do make friends, but you also move a lot. I did not move as much as some of my other friends in the military. We only moved about twice. Uh, moved up to North Carolina and then back down to Florida in the Panhandle, which is where we're at now. We haven't had to move anywhere else, thank God. Um, we had the option for Alaska or Hawaii. That didn't happen though. And I know a bunch of my military friends that did go to Italy, Hawaii, and Alaska. And people just kind of disperse throughout the years. So it's an experience. It's not something that I would ever take back because I am grateful for the things that I learned and just how things have been. But I am ready to get out. It is not for everyone and the stress of it all is to me not worth it. Okay, next question. What is your son's name and why did you decide to name him that? My son's name is Elijah. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should because that's where you will see the most pictures of him. We honestly just loved the name Elijah. Personally, you know, me and my shows, I was watching the originals and Vampire Diaries at that point and I love Elijah from the originals. He's my favorite character. 
So yes, he had some influence on that name, but we just went through so many names and Elijah was our favorite and that's why we decided to name him that. This person said, what shadows do you recommend for someone who wants to make a Z palette but doesn't know what shadows to get? If you guys are interested in me making a entire video on this, let me know. I can go through all of my little pan eyeshadows if you want because this is very hard. Um, a very hard question. Particular brands, if you're trying to build a Z palette, I would definitely go with Makeup Geek or ColourPop. If you don't mind spending the extra money, Anastasia is very good as well, but Makeup Geek and ColourPop are my favorite. Makeup Geek definitely holding more rain over ColourPop. That is my all-time favorite. Their eyeshadows are about $6 to $10 depending on the finish. I think regular eyeshadows are 5 or 6 and then the duochrome and foiled eyeshadows and stuff are like 10 or so, but it's definitely worth it. And I think if you're going to get any kind of Z palette eyeshadows, I would definitely go with Makeup Geek. Another, how old are you and what state are you from? I already said my age and I am actually from New York. I was born and raised in New York until about high school. Then me and my family moved down to Florida. I lived in different parts of Florida all throughout high school and college and then I got married and went to North Carolina for a couple of years and now I'm back in Florida so I hope that answers your question. <laughs> oh, I have a Snap Fam question because I love my Snap Fam. This person says, uh, what would you be doing without YouTube? I have no idea, to be honest. I think I would be in some kind of career field because if it was not for YouTube, I would not be into beauty as much as I am. Maybe. You know, I actually take that back. I probably would still love beauty, but YouTube is what made me go to esthetician school and make me get into makeup and all that. And that is something that I still want to pursue. I just haven't had the means to do it yet. But once we transition out of the army, that's probably something that I will pursue if I cannot make YouTube a full-time job. Do you plan on having more kids? Yes, we actually do plan on having more kids. It's going to happen later than we anticipated. I wanted to start trying for another baby once Elijah turned two, but since we're transitioning out of the army, it probably won't happen until maybe he's three or so. It just depends on our financial situation and healthcare and everything. So we do want to have more kids. We want to have at least one more. We are trying to have a girl. If that doesn't happen, we might try for another one, but we'll see what happens. We're going to play it by ear. Do you speak Spanish too or just English? I only speak English. I understand some Spanish and I do have to work on speaking Spanish, but I know I'm, I'm ashamed of myself and I always get mistaken for someone who knows how to speak Spanish because I am Spanish, but that's not the case with me. This person said, do you plan on working in the beauty industry again, either as a hairdresser or esthetician? I would not be a hairdresser, that is for sure. I am not. I mean, as much as I love hair, I don't think I can cut it. I can't trust myself to cut hair, so that won't happen. But as far as an esthetician or makeup artist, that is definitely something that is very real in the future for me. How did you find out you were pregnant? I actually found out um, we had decided to try that week and it just so happened that I was also late that week so it just it fell into place I was taking finals for my esthetician school I wasn't feeling well I actually thought I was getting sick the following week we decided hey you know now that I'm done with school let's try to have a baby and I was late it just so happened I was late and I only realized that because we were trying to plan it out and so when I realized that I was late and I wasn't feeling good and I was kind of checking out the symptoms I was like maybe I should take a test just in case and it just so happened that it turned positive and I was in complete shock my husband thought I tricked him because he's like what the heck how is it that we just decided to have a baby and now you're pregnant and I'm like I don't know the universe works in mysterious ways it just happened so we were both ecstatic about it. We were happy but confused at the same time because it just was weird timing. It was so weird. And the last question that I got is what is your zodiac sign? I am a Virgo and proud of it. I'm a proud Virgo. September birthday babies, where are you at? And I just, I love it. I love being a Virgo. So um, that is it for this Q&A. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. Feel free to leave any video recommendations down below. I have a ton of videos that I'm trying to catch up on. I feel like I'm always playing catch up. I know I missed my Sunday declutter. That one is scheduled to go up on Saturday and then you will have one Saturday and Sunday and everything like that. So my declutter series is up and running, but anything else that you would like to see, if you want to see a top 10, if you want to see a one brand tutorial, if you want to see a regular springtime 
type video, let me know down below because I love getting your suggestions. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.